Hey, what's going on guys? ZTA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Nvidia Shield TV console and I had a request to try out the new Xbox One S controller. And I am using it right now with the Nvidia Shield console. This is the new controller with Bluetooth built in, as you can see. Have the controller connected and it works very well. Now if you're running emulators and things like that on this system, you can just map your buttons. But I did try Goat Simulator and it works fine with that straight out of the box. So while I'm here, I wanted to show you guys GeForce Now. Now this is really awesome. It comes built into the Nvidia Shield TV console. I believe it's available for the Shield tablet and the Shield portable also. What GeForce Now allows you to do is stream high quality PC games from Nvidia servers to your Nvidia device. Now this is really cool if you don't own a gaming PC. It does require a monthly fee. I did try out the three month trial and it comes with a few games, but let's say we wanted to play Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. If you buy the game here, you can play it on this console just like this with a good internet connection. And then when you have enough money to upgrade to a PC that can play this game, you can download it on your PC and play it directly on your PC. Really awesome. Um, there are tons of games available. And don't quote me, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. I'm not sure how much it is a month. Uh, I did try out the three month trial. So comes with some games included here. And they keep updating the library. So every other week I'll get a notification saying that a new game's available. But there's tons of stuff here already. And I just wanted to try this out, show you guys how well it does work. We're going to do Batman Arkham Origins. Now I'm still using the Xbox One S controller. I'll press start. Go to graphic options. And as you can see, I was able to max everything out. If you turn these back down, it does make a difference. So watch Batman there when I turn these down. I'm going to hit the apply button. You see the shadow? We'll go all the way back up with everything. Apply. So I wasn't sure if that worked or not, you know, because we're running on their servers right now, but it works really well. I started this game and I turned the music off just so we could uh, get some sound out of this. So you'll need a really good internet connection to run this. Now, my connection is 300 megabytes and I have 20 megabyte upload speed. So it handles this very well. I also have a five gigahertz router. They do suggest using a 5G router. Ethernet works the best though. Like I used this on ethernet and had no trouble. Right now I am connected to my 5G network. Men. I'll make them tell me where I can find Black Mask. Get some fighting going. But man, it looks good and it runs amazing. You know, to tell you the truth, if I didn't buy um, the Wild Hunt on PC and Xbox One, before I had one of these, I would definitely purchase it and play it on this unit. I think this technology is amazing. It's been out for a while now. What the hell? Did I already die? I was not paying attention. That sucked. All right, so let's try another really good looking game was Tomb Raider. I think it's on here. Yeah, and I believe I had started this a while ago. I don't know if my save would still be here or not. It probably won't. So we'll go to options, graphics. Triple buffer. Ultimate quality. Yeah, I'll leave motion blur on 
and we will apply the settings here. Go back. Let me turn the sound off or the music off also. Okay, finally, we're in gameplay right now. And as you can see, this looks crazy good. I know this is the older Tomb Raider, but it still holds its own in graphic performance. And to be running this from a server, you know, on your NVIDIA Shield, it's pretty awesome. Come on. Let's get swung up there. I need to burn this off of me. Come on. There we go. Oh my gosh, that had to hurt. So this is being played on the NVIDIA Shield TV console. I mean, believe it or not. Oh God. No. 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 A little bit of stuttering there from the uh, internet connection. Yep, just popped up in the top right-hand corner. Now my router's kind of far away. should have run Ethernet while doing this, but either way, it still performs pretty decent. Man, that stuff had to be super dry to burn up that quick. That'll do it. Yeah, there's just, there's tons of games available too. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go check them out. We'll exit out of here, just go to the main menu. Your game will run in the background, so if you wanted to check something out really quick, you can just go right back into it. You have to resume. It'll pick up from where you just stopped, as you see there. Pretty cool technology, and it works really well as long as you have a decent internet connection. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any requests, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.